This is a tutorial video to review predicting which way an equilibrium system will shift when a stress is applied. Okay. The reaction that we're going to be analyzing is an endothermic reaction where heat plus methane plus hydrogen uh, dihydrogen sulfide produces uh, carbon disulfide and hydrogen gas. The first question is A, when methane is added. So with the addition of methane, which is a reactant, the equilibrium is going to want to shift to remove some of that added reactant. So we're going to get a shift in the forward direction, okay, which will cause our methane to go down, the other reactant to go down, and the two products to go up. Okay. So we have a forward shift for the first one. In the second example, we have the removal of one of our products. Okay. So if we remove this, the system is going to want to shift to try to replace it. To make more of this or replace it, that would require a forward shift, which will drive the reactants down, including using up some heat and replace what we wanted to have replaced as well as the other product. Moving on to C. Hydrogen gas is added. When hydrogen gas is added, the system is going to want to shift to try to do the opposite, which is to remove it. In order to remove or use up a product, the equilibrium needs to shift in the reverse direction. That will cause our two products to go down and our three reactants, including heat as a reactant, to go up. So that is a reverse shift or shift to the left. Moving on to D, the total volume is decreased. Okay. So we always have to think in terms of pressure when there's PV changes. So our volume went down. A smaller container will cause a pressure increase. So we, uh, the shift is going to be a shift that's going to cause the pressure to decrease. We're going to have to figure out which way would reduce our pressure. We need to count up all the gas molecules. The first thing I want to look is see how many of our chemicals are gases, and they are all gases. So I'm going to count all of those species. So we have one methane and two uh, dihydrogen sulfide. So we've got three total gas molecules on the reactant side. On the product side, we have one and four, so a total of five. So if we want to decrease the pressure, we want to take those five gas molecules and turn them into three. Okay. With ideal gases, we do not care what the size, the mass is of our gases. We treat them all as just point sources. So this will have a reverse shift. Uh, moving on to temperature, I'm going to leave that gas count there because we're going to need it later. So we have the temperature is increased. So this means energy is added, energy or heat kinetic energy, there's our heat in this endothermic reaction. If we add more energy, the reaction is going to shift to try to use up some more energy. So we want to shift away from the heat. Okay. We're thinking again of that heat as our energy. Okay. So we have a forward shift. F, total pressure is decreased. Okay. So I'm making a bit of an assumption here that this pressure is caused by a pressure volume change or a volume change, not just by adding a gas in like an H. So if total pressure 
was decreased. Okay. I'm assuming this was a volume increase. Okay. Now I don't really need that volume uh, part, but I just want to emphasize that's the assumption I'm making. So if pressure went down, the shift, we have to think in terms of pressure, is going to be what would drive the pressure up. Okay. Now we have our arrows from before, or our gas molecules, sorry. So we have three at the beginning, five at the end, and we want to drive pressure up, so we want to have uh, the three turn into five. We want to have a forward shift for F. Okay. In our last question, G, this is a memorize. If you add in a gas that is not part of the reaction, you will not change the partial pressures of any of the gases, and you will not cause any shift. So there will be no change. The concentration or partial pressure of methane is going to be exactly the same before and after the addition of helium, okay? the same as our hydrogen gas product. Okay? Adding inert gases that aren't part of the reaction, adding catalysts do not affect equilibrium.